Hello, this is Daniel Vespaya from Calavita International again, and today we're going to talk about the search function on the Calavita Explorer Hub. And you can see the hub here with the icons that allow you to access the four different uh, web applications. Now, to find anyone in your network, you can see the search box right here. And it's just a question of putting in a name or even um, if you have a bid network and perhaps you remember you have a good member in one city but you can't remember their last name, it's like Jolt in Seged or whatever, then you can just put down his name, the city he's from, and then all the Jolts in Seged that are in your network will show up. Or another example here, I just put in a name, Eva. Now the search function needs at least four characters, so if you have a very short name like Eva, you might have to add a couple of spaces in there, which I have done. So I put in Eva, add a couple of spaces, and I hit enter. And it just takes a second to come up. Now all of the AVAs that are in your network will show up on this screen. And you can see here it shows their name, their membership code, it shows the country, the city they're in. And over on the right side, you can see it shows the highest level they've achieved, their latest level in the previous month, and whether they're just a consumer or a network builder and their last year's total bonus points and the number of orders they placed in the last year. And also, very importantly, you see beside each person, I'm just going to scroll down a bit here, you can see the countries, you can see these are all in Slovakia, it shows the name of the city, there is Hungary, there is Netherlands, CS is uh, Serbia, so you can see there's a lot of AVAs in Serbia, Bosnia, so you can see all the countries and the cities. And then, um, also beside each person here, there's um, three icons, Profiler, Explorer, and Circles. And this basically allows you to go straight to the, uh, any one of these applications relating to that individual. Uh, we mentioned in previous videos that Profiler gives you, you know, deep information, all of the information about that member. Um, Explorer shows that particular member's downline in a diagram, a schematic diagram. And then Circles also shows um, that particular member's uh, relationship with the network in um, a series of circles. It's yeah, we'll we'll show it in a later video. It's, it's quite interesting, but it's a very a uh, good way to quickly and easily visualize where that member is within the network. So, so on the search function, you can immediately go to any member just by clicking on one of these um, three application buttons here. Now, also on the search function, you can um, there's a little icon you can see beside each heading, and you can use that to sort. Like for example, you can sort the name alphabetically. Um, or if you click here next to member code, it sorts it by member code from highest to lowest number. Um, you can sort by country. Now you see here it's listing the countries alphabetically, starting with Bosnia and going down. You can sort them by city and it will list just once again, it'll list the cities alphabetically. And you can see here the first city is Ada in Serbia. Um, these little icons next to uh, Profiler, Explorer, Circles above them don't really do anything, so you can ignore those. Um, this one here shows, um, it sorts them according to the highest level they've achieved, or you can sort them according to whomever had the highest level in the latest month. And you can also sort them there between uh, net builders and just consumers, network builders and consumers. And then you can sort them according to who had the most, the most of the least amount of bonus points in the last year, or who had the least and the most amount of orders in the last year. So there's ways that you can order the list to see, you know, to get whatever information you're most interested in. So anyway, so that's the search function, very versatile and it's just a question of inputting as much information as you need in the search function, then it will just narrow it down to, 
to show you the most likely um, people that you're looking for. As I say, once again, you don't need the name, you don't need the membership code. Even if you put in part of the name or the city that they live in or the country, uh, the search function will narrow it down to only those people. So. Okay, that's it. And thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.